Hey everyone, my name is Lori. I've been coming to The Way for about four years now. A lot of you know me from being a Way fam host, but today I get the honor and the privilege of sharing my testimony with you. If you don't know, I actually grew up in a Middle Eastern household. A lot of tradition, religion, customs, rules. Because of these traditional roles, I didn't really have a good relationship with my dad. I think in my culture, what ended up happening was I had to be the responsible one. I had to make sure that my sisters and everybody was okay. So I ended up seeing a lot of violence between my parents. And so it came to a point where I was about 12 years old. I was thinking, God, I can't handle this anymore. I can't handle all this violence and this abuse. So at 12 years old, I tried to take my own life thinking that it would just solve every problem. So by the time I was 14 years old, I contracted an ovarian cyst. It got up to about 11 pounds. I looked like I was nine months pregnant. And the doctor told me, if this explodes in your stomach, you're gonna basically die. So I had surgery to remove it. During this time, my mom went to visit her family in Jordan and I was left in my dad's care. And because of that, my dad was like, I don't know what to do with you. I'm gonna need to send you off to my brother and his wife so that they can take care of you until your mom comes back. It just happened that my uncle is actually a pastor. So when I was at his house, he said, do you wanna invite Jesus into your life? And I said, yes, I'm in desperate need of him. I have so much going on. I'm so broken. I have so much responsibility on my back. So I gave my life to Jesus. And ever since that day, I was radically changed. As soon as I became a Christian, a lot of the physical violence between my parents had actually ceased and they started coming with me to church. So it was going well, but then at a point my parents got a lot of church hurt, so they stopped going. And because of that, they were trying their hardest to stop me from attending church. So I was constantly by myself attending church. Not only was I going by myself, but I was getting attacked spiritually. I had a lot of warfare to do with my parents, with my family. So I've had to constantly stay with God and be like, okay, God, I'm going to serve you no matter what. About four years ago, I was attending a different church and one of my friends, Sari Q. Williams, actually invited me to the way. I felt just a lot of love, like a lot of love that I wasn't given from my family. I was just loved upon from all these different kinds of people. I saw that God had opened so many doors for me, whether it was the altar team, the media ministry, coaching at the growth track classes, God really has made a way in so much provision. So through all this, through all the spiritual warfare that I've been going through, one thing that I realized is that I have victory in Christ. And because of what I've been pulled out from, I've been able to minister to so many women in my family that are under such a tight control. A lot of my family members are now serving God and I see God moving in their hearts. And no matter what I'm going through, I know that if I keep going, my entire family is going to be saved. So I encourage you to keep going, keep moving, keep serving God. Don't let anybody move you because if you stay consistent, God will see you through. And so I want you to be encouraged. Make sure that you're persistent. Keep fighting a good fight because God will see you through.